Today we're exploring the Vignole grape here at Adam Pukta Winery in Herman, Missouri. Vignole is actually one of my very favorite grapes because of its amazing tropical fruit flavor enhanced by an acidic backbone. Today you are visiting the Adam Pukta Winery in Herman, Missouri, and we are the oldest continuously owned family owned winery in the United States uh, that's never changed hands. The Herman area is, is quite extensive. It dates back into the 18, 1850s, 1800s. Very, very conducive area for growing grapes and a huge wine production area. If people know anything about uh, American wine at all, they should know how important Herman is. 1837, uh, there's a bunch of German uh, financiers and they want to create this new place in the new world. They want to have their spot there. And so they essentially fund the building of this new place in the middle part of Missouri. And one of its purposes is going to be to create great wine, just as has been done in Germany. It's kind of a crazy deal that, that uh, Missouri has that sort of heritage and lineage. And, and somebody like Tim Pukta, who has, um, I think, really created the current reputation of the winery for high quality wines. Adam Pukta Winery does particularly uh, a great job with, with Vignol of all styles. In a short period of time, it's become a very important grape here. We introduced uh, Vignol into our properties probably around 1991 or 92. The grape itself uh, can be utilized to be very, very dry, to semi-dry, to off-dry, to sweet. It's just got this wonderful, wonderful fruit characteristics. When it's really, really cold, you get the strawberry kiwi characteristic. As it warms up, you get peach, you get pear, you get these wonderful little undertones of, of all of those mixed into it with all the different degrees of temperature that a, that a wine has. It's, it's, it was just a really cool grape to try to, to make wine out of. So now we're here inside of the tasting room and Parker is going to take me through some of the wines that you make that use Vignole and we're starting out with the dry Vignole which really is my favorite. I think that Vignole is just this grape that has so much character to it. Yeah, so uh, our dry Vignole we started doing a couple years ago um, and it's kind of taken off. It, it tastes a little a little sweet, um, but its residual sugar is only at 6%. It's one of those wines that people have really been able to get into the drier spectrum without getting that really dry oakiness of like your Vidal's or your Chardonnay's. With Vignol, unlike a Vidal Blanc or a Chardonnay or something like that, it's so fruity and it's so yep. lively. It has these like tropical fruit, pineapple flavors, but it's not fruity to the point where it's boring and feels kind of flabby. It's like, it's got this great acidity that kind of shoots through it. Yeah, so there's like really a lot of layers to it. As it goes down your palate, you taste the strawberry or the kiwi in separate spots. It just gives a different feeling as you drink it to where, you know, it doesn't burn through. Um, as some of the drier wines may. To me, Vignole almost reminds me of the way that a Riesling is good in a dry or a semi-sweet um, style because it just has so much character and so much good acidity in the grape. Yeah, so you can definitely taste the, the acidity on the back end of your tongue as you swallow it, but you get that kiwi forward, that strawberry forward to it. So when you pair that well with your shrimps and kind of your seafoods with that spiciness, it just brings all of that out because, I mean, there's nothing better than spicy food with a little bit of sweet on the, on the tail end. I am a very big fan of Vignol. It has, to me, a peach, apricot, tangerine, even in the dry versions, and then this racy acidity at the end, this green apple, lemon, citrus thing that just makes it damned exciting. For more information on the Vignol grape, Adam Pukta Winery, and all other things Missouri wine, just head to MissouriWine.org. Thanks for joining me here in Missouri. I'm Kat Neville, and I'll see you next time.